How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Singh from 3D Central here, and back when it was released in 2012, the MakerBot Replicator 2 was an absolute workhorse of a 3D printer. It printed PLA reliably, consistently, and gave really high quality prints for its price point. Like all 3D printers, parts wear out, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the entire hot end assembly, and that's the hot end, the extruder, the extruder motor, and the entire wiring harness. This is a fairly in-depth process, so I'm going to be showing you how to tear down the printer, remove the old extruder, and replace it with the new one. You ready? Let's do it! The first thing you'll need to do is unload the filament, so go into the menu and select Unload. Next, guide the filament out of the extruder. Now you'll need to remove the spool from the back of the printer. Turn the power to the printer off and remove the power cable and the spool holder. Next, flip the printer on its side so you can access the motherboard cover underneath the printer. Using an Allen key, remove the bolts that hold the motherboard cover onto the printer, exposing the motherboard. The braided cable holds all of the individual wires that you'll need to remove, so follow those in and take note of where they connect. Clip the zip tie and remove the ferrite core from the body of the printer. After that, remove the cable from the motherboard of the printer. Next, remove the clamp shut ferrite core from the body of the printer using the small tab on the side to pry it open. Remove the wires and set that aside for now. Remove the black and red cable from the motherboard of the printer. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the block terminals that connect the red and yellow wires to the motherboard of the printer. Once loose, remove those two wires. Now it's time to separate all the wires from the black wire loom. Pull all the wires out of the loom, leaving the loom in place on the body of the printer. Clip off any zip ties that are remaining as you remove the wire from the loom. Using an Allen key, loosen the bolts that hold the extruder to the mounting block of the printer. Then remove the extruder from the printer itself. Taking your new extruder assembly, open the fan shroud and place it down over the extruder mount on the printer. Replace the two bolts holding it in place until you have a firm connection between the extruder and the printer. Once the two bolts are firmly attached, take the fan shroud and clip it back into place. Now it's time to reverse all of our steps to get the extruder hooked back up again. So first, replace the ferrite core and then plug the cable back into the motherboard. Then, take a zip tie and place it through the connecting bracket and use it to hold the ferrite core in place. Next, place the remaining wires back into the clip-on ferrite core. Once inserted safely into the channel, clip it shut. Plug the black and red wire into the motherboard. Insert the red and yellow wires into the block terminal and using a flathead screwdriver, tighten until there's a secure connection between them. Next, replace the clip-on ferrite core into the bracket attached to the printer. Now, string up all of the remaining wire and place it into the wire loom and begin the process of stringing it through the printer, attaching zip ties as necessary.
Place the motherboard cover underneath the printer, and using an Allen key, replace the bolts that hold it in place. Now flip the printer back into its upright position. Attach the filament spool adapter to the back. Reattach the filament guide tube to the clips next to the wire loom. Plug the power cable back into the printer and turn the printer on. Now it's time to load some filament through the printer to verify everything was installed correctly. Insert the filament into the extruder, allowing it to be tugged by the motor. If everything was installed correctly, filament should be flowing freely from the extruder nozzle. Now it's time to run a test print to make sure everything was installed correctly. You may have to recalibrate your printer because your nozzle height may have changed slightly. And that's how you replace the extruder module on a MakerBot Replicator 2. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for all kinds of 3D printing related goodness. Interested in ordering printers or parts? Check out the links in the description to learn more. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.